the Grammy nominations concert tonight on CBS. You know, most people call it the second most important night in music, but apparently Drake didn't get that memo because his reps tell us the rapper who was slated to appear had a scheduling complication. Happens. He sincerely apologized. Busy Kelsey Knight, you know what? The concert's going to be just fine without him, isn't it? We're going to have a good old time tonight without you, Drake. It's going to be amazing. Robin Thicke is performing with Earth, Wind & Fire. Keith Urban and Miguel are doing a duet. Katy Perry's performing. Taylor Swift's performing. Ah! Last night, I hit up the rehearsals for tonight's concert slash the reading of the nominations. Guys, P.S. We are so out in front with these artists, it's crazy. You were with Nina uh, driving to the Grammys last year when you found out that you won your first Grammy. Yeah. Congratulations. Word up. Does it feel different? You know, there's a little less anonymity, I guess. Yeah. But, um, you know, we're here to make music. I'm gonna pop some tags, only got $20 in my pocket. A lot of energy in the house. It's the pinnacle. It's the apex of awards. This is uh, the appetizer before that main course meal. All of the performers pretty much shoo-ins for nominations. But we're taking music that has to work on television. And so that in and of itself is an art. She goes away. And I'm reunited with show host LL. Last year, I dropped this on him. Do you really want love, or do you want love? Something like a phenomenon. Something like a phenomenon. Now, it's our one year anniversary. Give me a gift. You know what they say on the second anniversary? It's what? just arm punch. Oh, <laughs> arm punch, huh? Okay. <laughs> I got nice. you this present. Shoulder roll out. <laughs> I know you yeah, love yeah. that. Now that is a good present for me. I've rolled with a lot of the acts expected to get the hardware. Robin and his Blurred Lines bump and grind buddy, who's never been nominated, may both be up for record of the year. I came in like a wrecking ball. When do you say oh, I'm no. successful? Yeah, I'm just really excited. My fans are, are here, and, and of course, being number one is awesome. Hold up, you cannot count out my pals, Imagine Dragons, and P.S., I totally called this two years ago. I'm gonna make a prediction right now. You said we would be the next big thing. Okay, now I surrender my crystal ball to Yahoo Music's Lindsay Parker. I think the big front runner for Record of the Year is Lord's Royals. It kind of hits the sweet spot between mainstream and critical darling. And we'll never be royals. It is amazing, it's terrifying. How about Best New Artist? So there will be Macklemore and Ryan Lewis, Same Love. We will have Lord's Royals again. I think sort of the Kings of Leon of this year was Imagine Dragons, so we're gonna have Radioactive in the mix. It's gonna be kind of an indie hipster category. But don't forget about Florida Georgia Line. Five, six, seven, eight. Baby, you're a song. You make me wanna roll my windows down. Come on, baby. And, and for the Biggie album of the year. As long as I got my suit and tie. JT grabbed that suit and tie because his The 2020 Experience and Part 2 that dropped months later both entered the Billboard charts at number one. It's the front runner, but as Billboard's editor Joe Levy points out, it's anyone's game. Album of the year, the big records are from Justin Timberlake, maybe Jay-Z, certainly Imagine Dragons. Big records are what are going to be nominated.